In this video, I'll show you how to use a dummy task to visually display an unplanned delay in your Microsoft Project schedule. When you are managing a project in Microsoft Project, you will inevitably encounter unplanned delays. For example, if you were managing a construction project here in Florida, you might have a delay of at least a few days when a hurricane is blowing through. So in this video, I'll teach you how to use dummy tasks to visualize those delays. So let's get started. In this phase two expansion construction project, everything is going along really well. However, we have an impending disaster approaching in the form of a Category 4 hurricane, which is expected to come ashore here in the Tampa Bay area where I live on Wednesday of the week of June the 3rd. Our construction superintendent has asked me to revise the project schedule to plan for the delay caused by the hurricane. Here is how I would approach this situation. I would select the first task that would be impacted by the hurricane delay. Then I'd right mouse click on that task and choose the insert task item on the shortcut menu. Then I'd give the new task a meaningful name, something like hurricane delay. Next, I would select the task before the hurricane delay, down through the task after the hurricane delay, and then link those tasks with a finish to start dependency. Now, here comes the first challenge. What do we do about the duration? An optimistic view would be that the hurricane damage isn't so bad and we only need a three-day delay. The pessimistic view is that this could cause a major disruption with the loss of power, phone, internet, and gas stations running out of gasoline. Our construction superintendent has been through multiple hurricanes. He told me, Dale, plan for the worst case scenario. And if we're able to start earlier, all the better for us. So I'm going to put in the worst case scenario of seven days. By the way, I actually went through this very thing when Hurricane Milton was supposed to hit Tampa Bay dead on this past year. My wife and I evacuated to the Florida Panhandle for safety's sake, and we were not able to return for seven days because there was no electricity, no internet, and the gas stations were all out of gas. So seven days is a pretty realistic estimate for as bad as this hurricane might be. Now I would also do the following. I would select the row header for the hurricane delay task, and then I would format the cell background color. Now, I've used a recent color of this lighter shade of red. It's called rose. I'm going to use that because red all by itself is simply too dark as a cell background color, but that really makes the task stick out. Also, I would do the same thing for the Gantt bar to make the Gantt bar for this task stand out. So if I double click the Gantt bar, click the color, pick list button. Again, I can choose this rose recent color. 
and then click the OK button. After creating this delay task, I'm now ready to analyze variance to see its impact on schedule variance. To do this, all I need to do is right click on the Select All button and choose the Variance table on the shortcut menu. Then I need to drag the split bar over to the right edge of the Finish Variance column. In row 0, I can see for the entire project, the finish variance is seven days. Now let me collapse a couple sections here for tasks that are already completed. And this will let me see the hurricane delay task. I want you to notice that row zero finish variance is seven days and all of the tasks below this delay task also show a finish variance of seven days. How could we see the project and the finish variance if this hurricane delay task didn't exist at all? If you're a user of the professional version of Microsoft Project, you could temporarily cancel this task by selecting it, right-clicking on it, and then choosing the item on the shortcut menu called Inactivate Task. What this does is it cancels the task but leaves it in the schedule. Notice that if this task disappeared, our finish variants would go back to zero days. Now, if you are a user of the professional version, to reactivate the task, right click on the task itself and deselect the inactivate task item. If you're a user of the standard version of Microsoft Project, you could cancel this task by double-clicking it and then changing its duration to zero days temporarily. When I click the OK button, that still leaves the task in the project, but now it has no duration so we can see the finish variance again returns to zero days. The other thing I want you to be aware of is as a user of the standard version of Microsoft Project, after you've temporarily canceled the task by setting its duration to zero days, you'll also need to go back in and put in whatever duration is needed for the delay, in my case, that was seven days. So that's how to insert a delay in your Microsoft Project schedule for unforeseen circumstances such as a hurricane bearing down on you. Hey, thanks for watching my YouTube video. Who knew that you could use dummy tasks to visualize project delays? If you like how I'm teaching you to use Microsoft Project, I'd encourage you to consider hiring me to train the project managers and schedulers in your organization. If you're interested in that, please leave a comment in the comment section down below, and I'll get back to you right away. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.